G'day guys, Tills20 here and welcome back to Carbazoo. Remember that time I said I was going to build a realistic park in franchise mode? Well, I've totally bailed on that idea. <laughs> it's only like episode 2, but I've already bailed. So basically, the problem with franchise mode, as much as I like the idea, you can only have one save going at a time, which means if you make a mistake, that's it. And I don't really like that idea because, you know, if I'm going to be building a crazy realistic park, you know, spending all day building just one area and then all of a sudden something goes wrong and I have to start all over again, that is just craziness. So instead I'm going to switch over to challenge mode, which is exactly the same thing except I can actually have multiple saves. So that's really great. Uh, the unfortunate thing about that is I did a massive build, uh, it took me like a day and a half and and then I've basically got to redo it all in challenge mode, which, you know, is a pain, but at the same time, I've already done it. <laughs> I've already done all the work. So um, you're going to see this build um, basically better in challenge mode. So that actually works out pretty nicely because as much as I love this fort that I started building, um, there are aspects of it that I would like to change. And I think I do a much better job of it in the new park that I end up creating. So you're going to see all that in a time lapse in a couple of minutes. But I want to talk a bit about what I like about this and what I don't like about this. So basically this is going to be a massive fort on this mountainside and the park is going to be built all the way around it. So I've already started figuring out where the path layout is going to go and I'll be doing something very similar in my new park too. Um, and I really like that idea where like the path like winds its way up and goes into the fortress like that and you know all the way around the park you'll be able to see this like big old fort just sitting up on this mountain. Um, I like where I started. Um, yeah, I, I really like where I started. Uh, and I'm going to be using the same type of walls except I want to change the way that the cliff face looks because at the moment it just looks like boulders sitting on top of this mountain whereas I would like it to be more like a cliff. You know it's sort of getting there but there's just parts where I don't really like it like that. Um, but I'm definitely going to do little bits like this where it's sort of falling, falling apart which I think looks quite awesome. You know, just, I don't know, some some of the terraforming is a bit, eh, it's a bit wonky and I think it went a little bit over the top with the foliage, you know, I was sort of playing around with it, seeing what I could achieve and what I couldn't and I, d I just think there's aspects of it that I do really love and then there's other aspects that I don't. What I do really love about this is seeing this massive fortress when you're looking at, uh, looking from the park, I just think that's going to be a really awesome look. And, um... Yeah, it just makes me really want to work on this as much as possible. I've actually been working on this for a really long time. And the new one that I end up creating is far better. So we're going to jump into challenge mode. We're going to abandon all this. and I'm going to restart. I'm only going to do the most important parts in the time lapse so I don't bore you guys. And I'll talk a bit about my process while I do it. All right, let's jump into it. It is a bit of a shame that I couldn't get franchise mode to really work out the way that I wanted it to, but to be honest, I think challenge mode is just as good. Um, the only difference really is, is that it's offline and I can actually make some uh, extra save games. So if I am going to do something that I am not happy with, so for instance the fort, then I can just resort back to the old save or a save before I did a lot of work and that way I can actually work on the um, version that I would like to work on and I think that's going to work out a lot better when it comes to building something that's realistic and when it comes to management and to be honest challenge mode is pretty much exactly the same as franchise except just doesn't have that online element to it which I don't know if I was really going to get into anyway. So a lot of work that I end up putting into this one. Um, this is a fair bit of work. Uh, I'm actually finding out that Planet Zoo consumes a lot of time <laughs> and uh, particularly because I am not very good at it at this stage I uh, yeah I really am struggling with how long projects are taking but in saying that I am really enjoying it I'm enjoying the break from City Skylines which is the game I usually play and I don't know there's just some really beautiful aspects of this game that I'm really getting into so 
I am going back and doing a lot of terraforming, which um, takes a lot of time in this game. I, I think this is an aspect of it that um, could be improved. Um, don't get me wrong, I think that the terraforming in this game is like phenomenal. I, the tools that you have to do things is pretty amazing. But creating an entire mountainside using this tool uh, wasn't very useful. Um, you can see something that I tried to do and I think it worked out pretty well. Basically using the block uh, terraforming tool to um, create big blocks of where I want the land to go. And I found that the easiest way to build um, big sections of mountain in um, the shortest amount of time. And then I would use the flatten uh, terrain tool to um, basically just even out the surface and uh, create this mountain ridge which what I was trying to go for was um, something that was looking quite eroded and something that was not as big as the mountains that you can see are, are surrounding the um, surrounding the park but instead something that was that was a bit more reminiscent of like a smaller um, hillside or mountainside and something that was looking pretty worn down by um, the weather. And that is something that is really achievable using that flattened terrain tool and especially using the types of um, the blocks that I was using at, to begin with. Um, make some really nice cliff faces which I found really useful when I started making the cliff for the fort to go onto. And uh, there's some parts that are like really well done, some parts I'm planning on coming back to. So if you see some sections that are like, uh, that's very <laughs> under detailed, it's looking a little bit of a miss, well I will be coming back to some areas. Uh, what I really wanted to achieve was just the the side of the fort that you'll be seeing the most of for the next um, few episodes as we work on uh, the entrance of the park uh, and then we'll get back into this fort when we um, start developing up some of the back areas. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, if you've missed the first episode, that's totally fine. I think this is probably the best one to jump into. Basically, the idea behind this zoo is we're going to be creating a park, um, a zoo that is based in the state of Rajasthan in India. Um, and this is an area of India that is well known for its forts, its fortifications, a whole bunch of them sitting on these mountainsides in India. And um, the countryside is really amazing because there's just so many of these places. Um, some of them are really well restored and some of them are just um, left to be reclaimed by nature. Um, generally based around towns and cities, I mean, I guess the cities were created from, uh, you know, these fallen kingdoms, these um, forts that were once thriving in massive um, states in themselves, and now they're just these, um, basically a lot of them are just uh, walls and crumbling palaces sitting on these cliff faces, and they're really quite amazing, and I thought that might be a really great uh, setting for a zoo. Kind of an unusual setting for a zoo, but <laughs> I think it'd be quite interesting nonetheless. So I'm basing this one off uh, one that's in Jodhpur. This is a fort that I visited about six or seven years ago. I think that this is probably one of the best looking forts in Rajasthan, in my opinion, mostly because it is just so massive and it sits on this cliff face uh, really quite precariously. I just want to recreate it uh, in this uh, in this game, but at the same time putting my own sort of flavor on it. So something that I am um, trying to work on is uh, trying to get the cliff face totally accurate. And something that I noticed, this is a shot that I took um, back when I did that trip, and basically like the cliff is broken up into a couple of different sections. You've got this like uh, top layer that is these massive big boulders that um, you know form a bit more of a classic cliff look. And then you have um, below that sort of more of a horizontal um, layered um, section. Uh, you can see the different layers of rock and that's what I wanted to do in this build. Something I didn't do in the last um, cliff that I created because I just basically went for boulders. Um, whereas this one I'm trying to get the different layers of rock into this. So I'm going to be doing about three different layers. Um, the first one is more of the sheer cliff face using, I believe I used the arid or the grassland, um, or I can't remember which rock I did, but I basically chose a type of rock to um, create that top layer. Then I'm using a bit more of the flatter surfaced ones, and then the lower section I'm using it, the same type of rock from the top layer, but a different color, so a different version of it. And it just creates a couple of different layers to that cliff face and I think it works um, in my favor because I think it just looks far more realistic and what I was trying to do is I was trying to 
get the idea behind it first in just this one section and then once that was looking totally accurate and how I wanted it to um, I would then copy and paste basically those sections into other areas rather than having to lay down every aspect of that rock. Um, much easier way of doing it rather than plopping it down in every area. So using a lot of rotation, using a lot of um, changing the angles and uh, changing the different sections that were exposed so that it didn't look like things were basically copied and pasted in, um, in, various, other, in various areas. Um, because of course nature is just unique in every way so it's really important not to um, get that copy and paste look in those sections um, you can get away with that in um, built environments but nature nature is just doing its own thing so uh, something that I actually noticed that I uh, the the middle section where we've got the um, squashed layer of rocks I, um, I think I probably put too many of the squashed rocks and decided to change it up a little bit by creating a bit of a different surface, um, which you can see me working on on that left side. Um, the foliage around here as well, I um, didn't want to go too, uh, too nuts like the other one. Um, I, was, I think the last version of the cliff, I was um, trying to over overcompensate with the lack of detail in the cliff by placing down lots of foliage and this time around I don't want to go too heavy with the foliage because we are looking at um, not a desert but it is a grassland so there are clusters of foliage but there's other areas that don't have quite as much foliage and um, yeah trying to keep that but at the same time uh, I think there would be quite a lot of foliage because it would be um, there'll be quite a lot of water that would be funneled around this area being a cliff being a valley generally there's more foliage around valleys and things like that so now we're getting into the walls and this is when it really starts to come to life. I decided to use the sandstone walls that um, come with the Indian theme. Uh, there were a couple of other different walls that I was tossing up between using but I decided to go with this the sandstone one mostly because a lot of the other Indian styled architecture fits in really nicely with this um, with the sandstone. Um, even though the fort in uh, Jodhpur isn't made out of sandstone, it's made out of um, other types of rock and I would have liked to use a different color type of rock but I think, you know, just given the tools that we get given, I'm just going to go with this one. It's a bit of a shame that you can't recolor everything um, in this game. That is something that I was really struggling with as you'd find the perfect looking texture. Um, so for instance, this texture I really love and there's a lot of um, other sandstone uh, materials within the Indian theme that I would really like to recolor but you can only recolor certain items which I think is fair, you know, because they want, they're trying to go for a particular look and uh, you know, they're sort of giving you the tools but also giving you restrictions which I, which I also appreciate in games. I like the restrictions and what you have to try and achieve with it but I would have really loved to change the color of this um, sandstone, but you know, you can't change everything unfortunately. Uh, something that I wanted to do as well with this wall is I didn't want it just to be squeaky clean and totally uh, redeveloped or um, looked after really well. I wanted some areas of it to look like it's been destroyed or um, reclaimed by nature. So uh, what I've done is I've gotten rid of some of the spikes and um, I made them uh, some of them have just completely crumbled off and fallen down onto the cliff face um, and others have been uh, sort of replaced with these rectangles or these square um, sandstone blocks and I thought that was kind of cool because it um, sort of looks like it's been restored in various different um, ways you know some areas they've you know restored it really well and there's other areas where they've just sort of stuck some stand sandstone blocks and thought you know that'll do and then because some of the sandstone spikes have fallen off, I thought would place them down um, in some areas of the cliff face, which I thought was kind of fun. Uh, I also wanted to get some vines crawling up the the um, the sandstone too, but I, 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 you'll see me I have a crack at doing some of them, but it just looked a little bit, uh, I don't know, it didn't really match the rest of the landscape. So I decided just to um, place it down in some areas. And I think what I'm going to do at some stage is I'm going to come back to this wall and I might even um, break up a couple of the areas just a little bit more because I think it's looking probably a little bit too nice for what I would what I would like to achieve. I would probably like it to be a little bit more crumbly and fallen down and uh, we'll work on that at a later stage. 
Now, just out of curiosity, because I usually create Park Tech videos or City Skylines videos, so I might be completely coming um, into this into this game to a new audience and if you are someone who has never seen anything that I've done before and this might be your first time watching my channel or you might be a solely um, a planet franchise um, enthusiast um, let me know I would love to know if you guys are new to my channel and are um, checking out what I'm doing for the first time uh, if you are interested in this series and if you have any suggestions well then leave them in the comment section because I do like to have a very collaborative um, experience when it comes to my videos. I take a lot of your feedback on board, particularly in a new game like this. I am um, going to need a lot of help when it comes to uh, shortcuts and figuring things out. I'm still watching a lot of tutorials from other YouTubers. So if you are, you know, someone who is new to my channel from this series, then um, yeah, let me know in the comments because I would love to um, say hello and meet you guys. Um, and also, if you guys don't know, I also have a Patreon account. Um, if you are interested at all at getting the save game, that goes up on my Patreon page every week. Um, every time I release a video, then you get um, the save game as well. If you want to use the Ford in your own scenario or your own park, they can totally go for it. Um, and I also have early access to videos. I usually do it about a week early. So if you want to see the next episodes to this series, then um, that will be up pretty shortly as well. So if you want early access and save games and a whole bunch of other stuff as well as supporting the channel, then uh, yeah, Patreon page is in the description below. But absolutely no pressure, just liking the video, watching my stuff and getting involved is all the support I really need. Um, this is not my full time job, this is something I just do on the side. It is becoming like a side job and every year I get closer and closer for it to becoming a, a real life job which is very exciting but one step at a time really enjoy doing this sort of stuff and really enjoying being in a brand new game and doing something totally different. Uh, I really do need you guys help because as you can see I've really struggled when it comes to the building aspect. Uh, I've done, you know, I can sort of justify some of the shonky uh, bad building styles because we are sort of building something that is crumbling and falling apart and that way I can sort of get away with um, some of the bad sort of techniques <laughs> I'm using. But next episode I really jump into the deep end and I try to build, well I do build and I'm really proud of it, I build a palace that is the entrance to the park. I bloody love it, I think it turns out really well, but man it takes me a long time to get through that. So you'll see all that in the next episode. But um, what I've been up to so far, I built this lake that, oh uh, man I think that really completes the picture because it is this uh, really nice, does this really nice reflection of the wall and the cliff and I just think that looks awesome. And I am also just building an extension of the wall that is not like the main wall. This will be like the um, the wall that would have surrounded the city um, rather than the fortress or the palace that sits on the mountain. So this is going to be a wall that's going to be um, wrapping around most of the park. And there's going to be various aspects of it. There's going to be walls that are going to be completely restored and there's going to be um, big sections of it that are going to be completely broken and crumbled which you can see me working on now. This is a section that is um, fallen apart and I've, I'm thinking of doing more of this down the track because it is fairly easy. Um, it takes me a little while to figure out how I'm going to do it but um, I get there in the end. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be doing more of these sort of sections that are completely crumbled and broken and um, totally destroyed. And I think these might be some cool areas for habitats and, um, you know, building some extra little elements that um, will hold more um, sort of things for the zoo and for the animals. But guys, that is it. Man, this was a fast one to record. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Next episode is um, a real doozy and really brings the park to life and I hope you will enjoy it. Um, but if you have enjoyed this one, then please let me know in the comments section or just by rating up the video, that helps me out. And if you would like to watch the next episode, well, I think I might just go and check that up on my Patreon page now because why the hell not, I'm in the mood for recording and I might just record that right now. But guys, that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Let's go, 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 let's go